Hello everyone. My name is Adman Sakib. I am from Bangladesh University of Textiles. My paper title is Development of Portable Electromagnetic Radiation Protective E-Textile. This paper describes the way of protecting the human tissues from the electromagnetic waves by using portable textile protecting shield on garments. The shield consists of yarn of stainless steel and a dyed yarn of metallic aluminum particle. The protective shield can be assembled with the garments easily and can be used as a portable shield to use it in different garments. Technical textiles are used instead of conventional textiles uh, because of its external performance. Electromagnetic shield is done by limiting the flow of electromagnetic fields between the two areas by using a barrier or applying a protection medium. If the barrier has the high conductivity or dielectric constant or high magnetic permeability, then it can obstruct the electromagnetic radiation. Customer requirement is very essential while planning to design a product. By having the customer requirement, some technical features should be fixed. Some of the customer requirements are protection, comfort, accuracy, lightweight, low cost, and some of the technical features are resin coating, structure, metallic yarn, metallic particle, dice particle, etc. The strong relationship is given 10 points, the medium relationship is given the five points, and the poor relationship is given two points. Weighted total scores and percentage scores are considered for making the technical properties. To find the material that fits the best to the product for the better performance, we use the digital logic method for determining the relative importance of each technical property and give them according to weights. The designed architect is developed to understand the most probable location to prevent the human organ from the electromagnetic radiation. These three locations are mostly exposed to electromagnetic radiation, so they are primarily located. And further, some more locations can be added. The conductive fabric structure is two by two twill rib and after that in the methodology part firstly yarn dyeing with metallic particle initially yarn was rinsed with the distilled water having no heavy metal components then after measuring the aluminium sulfate it was mixed with water in the dye bath and then slowly raising the temperature uh, the yarn was then poured into the water bath the dye bath temperature was then slowly raised to 104 degree fahrenheit for 45 minutes. Again, coming back to the room temperature, the yarn was then kept for drying. Uh, in this uh, part, uh, two grams of fiber was used and uh, uh, 40 grams per two rounded tablespoon and two tablespoon of aluminum sulfate was mixed together and a container was uh, used to dissolve the aluminum sulfate and it was the stainless steel container a large stainless steel dye bath was also used for dyeing and the heat source temperature was 104 degree Fahrenheit uh, as previously explained. Second part is the yarn of stainless steel and uh, it is actually uh, made from stainless steel that has good electrical conductivity and has resistance to electromagnetic interference. By cutting the thread from stainless steel, the yarn is formed and then with the cotton blending, the yarn was made and thus we can get the most out of it. And the recipe, if we just uh, see, the silicon content was 0.39 percentage, the carbon content was 0.02 percentage, Wire diameter was about 0 0.018 millimeter to 1.15 millimeter, and the surface was bright annealed. The cloth is woven in the loom, and the machine in this process used is the CCI machine. Firstly, the yarn dyed with the aluminum particle should be inserted, and the yarn of stainless steel is inserted. The tension of both yarns should be equal and must be adjusted. The fabric is then 
embedded with aluminum layer so that it can provide more radioactive protection. Using an external clip, the radio protective cloth can be adjusted with the garments to the inner side of the pocket and the chest portion of the shirt. The cloth should be assembled with the garments so that wearer does not feel uncomfortable. Electromagnetic radiation tester is used for the testing and the radiation before applying uh, the radiation protective textile uh, was measured and after applying the radiation protective textile it was uh, again measured to get the uh, different result. We can see that after applying an electro electromagnetic radiation shield, radiation can be reduced to a great volume. The, now the cost part. The total cost of developing the radiation protective textile is only 1.39 US dollar, uh, which is actually below 2 US dollar. And if it is produced in bulk, that, uh, that time the total cost will be less than it is now. So thank you very much for watching the presentation.